Hello everyone, this is how you install DD... No, I can always do that. Hello everyone, this is how you install OpenWRT, which is a custom firmware, on this Belkin RT3200 router. Uh, I'm going to be using the abbreviated instructions from this GitHub page. So it's github.com slash dang OWRT and then forward slash OWRT dash UBI dash installer uh, which says for the links is E8450 uh, which is also known as the Belkin RT3200 router. Uh, there's a lot of information on this page and um, some of it you do want to pay attention to. There's also some information on the OpenWRT wiki about enabling um, hardware offload and beamforming on the Wi-Fi 6 Wi-Fi. So there's a lot of stuff on this page about compiling your own, um, but you actually don't need to do a lot of this. So on the bit which says, if you're not interested in building it yourself, pre-built files are available here. So you go to that link, which takes you to this page. And uh, for me, for the use in this video, I've downloaded the, the top one here, which says UBI init RAM recovery installer. And I've also inst uh, downloaded the UBI SquashFS sys upgrade file. And uh, let's get going. So I'm pinging, or I will be in a moment. The Belkin router in the Belkin's um, own stock firmware. We need to go to that website, so 192.168.1.1. Because it's factory reset, it's all going through the wizard again. In this instance, you need to click on the I've read and accept the agreement, and then click on cancel, and click on OK. The password is just lowercase admin, and press login. And go to configuration, administration, Firmware upgrade, then please select a file to upgrade. And the file you want immediately to start off with is the initramfs recovery installer. So I'm going to select that, open, and I'm going to click on start upgrade. go over to the ping window and uh, see what happens. I'll also try and describe what the lights on the router are doing. The uh, power light is flashing slowly white. So it's going white and then it's going off and then it's going white and then off. Now the internet light's gone off and the power light is flashing slightly faster. The router is rebooting still a couple more times and the power light is blinking fast again. Well, I'm quite astonished at that. It, in its recovery mode, does give the computer an IP address. So we are ready to go back to this website the main 1.1 IP of the router. This time we're seeing the password or the, the login interface of OpenWRT. So the password is probably just root R-O-O-T. Yep, and we are in recovery mode. Uh, so basically this, this mode should only be used to install proper firmware. So I need to go system, go to backup slash flash firmware, scroll down, and flash new firmware image, click on that, click on browse, 
and now we want the uh, 8450 UBI squash FS sys upgrade file and click on upload. We do not want to keep settings and retain current configuration because there's none on there anyway. And then click on continue. So this will do a similar to what it did uh, a moment ago, which is um, the power light is blinking uh, white and or on and off. And uh, then the router will reboot. So it's just rebooted now. And I'd expect in about 24, 25 seconds um, that it will start responding to pings again. And there we are, it's responding to pings, the web interface is reloaded, we log in again with the default password of root, it doesn't have the warning about being in recovery mode anymore, and um, and there we have it, we have OpenWRT is installed and working, it's got an IP address on IPv4 and IPv6. One thing you will want to do if you're going to use wireless on this router is go to network and then wireless, and the second entry down and the fourth entry down, you need to first off click on enable. And fourth entry down, click on enable as well. And that will have created a wireless network with the name OpenWRT with no password. You then need to click on edit on the second one down and under general setup, you can change the name. And under wireless security, you can set a password. You can probably also do other things like changing the wireless channel. Yep, here it is at the top, 40 megahertz to um, channel six or it's got an auto option at the top, which I will uh, select. So that's the uh, second one down, which is the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I'm then going to click on edit on the fourth one down, which should be the five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Set a password again and click on save. Once you've done that, at the very top you need to click on unsave changes and it will show you the details of the changes that you're about to make. Click on save and apply and that will have enabled wireless on this router as well. Um, and uh, we're done. That is how you upgrade or uh, custom firmware this Belkin RT3200 router. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Um, there are also a couple of other videos in the description of this video, so if you want to know how to factory reset the router, there's a video on how to do that. And there's also another video on um, the stock firmware admin interface of this router in case you don't want to put on the custom firmware. Yeah, thank you very much for watching.